In this video, we're going to be reviewing Chopcast. Now, Chopcast is a very quick and easy way to trim videos online so that you can repurpose them from just regular horizontal video to immediately making them vertical so that you can put them on places like TikTok, Instagram Reels, short YouTube Shorts, or whatever it happens to be. So it's a pretty useful tool. Plus, it's a lifetime deal. Hey, you can't, you know, you can't fault me for loving lifetime deals. I am a sucker for a lifetime deal. And currently, right now, it is on AppSumo. It was part of their Black Friday sale and they said it was going away, but it's back, you know, so um, they did re up with them, I believe. And as you can see right here, this is the tool right here. This is very similar to a uh, Descript or a content fries or a uh, oh, here right here. Headliner app. Very um, interesting tools that you can use to be able to kind of repurpose the content that you're already creating. Um, this is helpful for if you're a marketer online, if you create content online, um, podcasts will be great as well because it's nice to create short little versions of your content that's easy to share, but then also uh, being able to direct people to your longer form content. So let's just jump down to see what the pricing options are for uh, Chopcast. And you can see what we're gonna get here. Um, let's start right here. So lifetime access to Chopcast, you get um, all of the pro plan features. We'll jump into that later in the video. Um, no codes, no stacking, um, 60 days purchase. Um, you do get a life, you do get a 60 days uh, money back guarantee. That's one of the things I do like about AppSumo. You can literally go 59 days and if you don't like it, get your money back. Um, you can create short form content. Uh, create your own clips, automatically resize videos. Uh, the cool part, they use artificial intelligence to read the script on the page so that you can, it'll guess where the coolest part of your video happens to be. I think that's probably the best part of what Chopcast does that I can't really recall a lot of other tools doing that. You can directly import into YouTube, add branding, and uh, all of that fun stuff right there. So uh, you can't stack codes, but they do have three different tiers. Um, we have the $69 tier for 100 80 per month and when we say 180 minutes that means that's how much content you can upload to chopcast uh, but then you can export as much as you want it doesn't really it's not capped by any number um, 360 minutes if you're going to be doing license tier and then 1200 if you're going to be doing uh, this license tier number three at $69, $139, and $239 respectively. Uh, so it's a pretty good deal. I signed up for the tier one because I don't need to upload a ton of stuff in 180 minutes when most of the videos I create are probably no more than 10 or 20 minutes. Um, works out great for me. If you're if you have a podcast where you might be averaging like an hour or so an episode or something, you may need to jump over to tier two. But um, I think either one of these would be just fine. Plus, if you're an agency needing to do this at scale and doing it for a lot of clients or whatever, then obviously um, it would be well more than worth it to give the 239 a try to get those 1200 minutes per month going up and running. Now, um, this one does have four and a half or so, four and a quarter or so uh, tacos. Um, and the big reason for that, and I'll show you once we get into the video, or getting into Chopcast, it's a little buggy because it's early on in the uh, in, in the, the life of Chopcast, but they're very responsive in their help and they fix stuff really, really fast, all right? When I signed up, I actually did have an issue getting some stuff um, to work within the platform. I shot them a message from within the platform, literally like later that night or the next day, everything was working. Um, there's people that someone responded within literally like five minutes of me going. So sometimes, you know, with some of these deals that you might get on AppSumo, you do have to be careful because if the service isn't there, the customer service, then it can make it a very, you know, unnerving experience. But um, I can definitely tell you the guys over at Chopcast, I think his name is um, uh, Kareem. You know, uh, he, I think he was the one who responded to me directly, which is kind of cool. Right. And as you can see here, they respond to these messages very, very quickly. Um, they're very open to new ideas as well, because they really seem that they want to be really good at um, this whole space of being able to take and repurpose long form content and create short form content really fast. Uh, it's a good tool. I, I do like it. I definitely do recommend it. Um, by the way, I will put a link down in the description. I put one in the description as well as uh, the first pinned comment. If you do want to give Chopcast a try, um, 
I'm trying to think of, of a bonus that I can throw to you. If you do use my link, just let me know down in the comments or shoot me an email and I'll shoot you over um, my free affiliate marketing cheat sheet that will show you exactly how to uh, build up an affiliate marketing brand step by step. So just shoot me that and I'll give it to you for free. That's if you use my link to go sign up at Chopcast. It is an affiliate link, so I will get uh, or the channel, I should say, will get a uh, a commission based on your purchase, but it's at no additional cost to you, and we will greatly appreciate it. So, um, as you can see, you know some of the reviews are pretty good. Um, let's go to the reviews themselves. What are some of the questions? One hundred percent, one of the best deals of the year. I kind of, I don't know about the best deal of the career, but I kind of agree that there is a lot of potential in this tool, and um, if they stick to it the way that they have been so far, it can be one of the biggest steals that can that can come out of this group of um, you know lifetime deals that have gone through AppSumo within the last few months. So. Uh, unable to edit subtitles yeah see something like this is kind of small that can be fixed um that it's just something that as more people go through the tool it'll make it a little easier to um to figure these things out great for repurposing and transcripts huge time saver totally agree well, let's go ahead and jump into chopcast this is the front page. Um, here's a turn webinars into binge worthy clips. Uh, you can do it with any type of long form content. If you do YouTube videos, podcasts, webinars, whatever, you can turn them into short, shareable, uh, binge worthy type content. And uh, this is what the inside, or sorry, this is the front page, but this is what the inside looks like in this image here. Um, you can see they are trying to, you know, engage Lee, SAP, clear a bit, learn upon, you know, so a few people are using these tools and they seem to be enjoying it so far. They also have a YouTube channel, which I thought was kind of cool, um, where they are creating content on how to use their tool. So let's go ahead and log in. All right. So here we are on the inside of Chopcast. So I uploaded a recent video and you have a couple of options of uh, what you can do so far. Um, at the top here, you can see um, eight minutes of 180 minutes used so far. You can upgrade if you wanted to, and then you can go into your profile as well. And then you can click new if you want to upload something else. Um, I will say when you do upload, you do have to give it some time because the AI is also getting the transcript and everything and then, you know, popping it up. It's going to take a few minutes for that kind of thing to happen. So usually I upload it and go work on something else. And when I come back, everything is taken care of. And remember, during this time, it is reading the transcript and then trying to figure out what the highlights of the video are. And that's the AI tool that um, this is doing, which I think is really cool because I don't think any other tool really does that where it'll actually read it and then give you a good guesstimate as to what's the good parts of the video that can be chopped up and sent out. So there's two options here when you hover onto the mouse turn onto the thumbnail you have the view option the view option will just give you this you know really big version of your screen it's a terrible picture of me but, but um you can either export this you can edit it if you need to and then here are different sections within the content that the ai thought would be a good place to cut out right and then you can go in there and then kind of refine it the way that you want um to be honest one of the big things that i have an issue with if i'm doing this myself and not outsourcing it to somebody else is re-listening to what i'm talking about and then trying to find that place within the content and then chopping it up right and then getting it that way but this actually does it for you you know and i think that that's pretty cool um at the end of the day it really doesn't matter what part of the video you get as long as it's something that's interesting so so if it nabs a good interesting part of the video I'm able to quickly edit it and then export it and then post it up. <coughs> Excuse me, and then post it up. So let's go back here. Now that was the view side. I'm going to click on the clip side now. And as you can see, it's created 10 different clips of uh, parts of the video that it thinks that I should you know, cut out and start using. You see, they're all pretty bite-sized chunks. This one's one minute. This one's 34 seconds, 33 seconds, 59 seconds. None of them are longer than a minute or so of uh, what we're talking about. So let's just grab one. Let's say this create passive income one. And then I'm going to click on edit this page right here where we can um, see. I don't know why he's getting this really terrible shot of my face. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah. So this is the clip right here. All right, so you can see it automatically did the transcription for me, which I think is really cool. You can export the, I think they call it the SRT file or something, and you can use that. You can re-upload it into YouTube. Um, that really does help sometimes with um, reach so that you can get more um, you know, more reach with your videos. Uh, 
and usually you'd have to spend, you know, some money with like rev.com or something in order to get uh, these transcripts done so cleanly, or if you're using a tool like Descript or something. But again, this is supposed to replace Descript so that you don't have to pay a monthly fee for stuff. So, uh, you know, Chopcast is pretty awesome so far. Here's the, um, what can I say, the transcript of what it is I just said. And as you can see, it goes through. What would be cool is if um, this was highlighted as it went through. So that's one thing that I would probably recommend that they uh, add to the tool so that it kind of highlights as it goes. Um, you can take stuff out. You can reword things. Um, it's not going to uh, change anything on the video itself like a Descript would, um, but it will add the uh, it will change the transcript of what it is that you happen to be saying. Now, here's the real cool part, I believe, of what Chopcast can really do is um, it can take this, you know, long form video, right, where it's uh, vertical or not vertical, but horizontal you know, just like a regular TV show or a video screen, you can click resize up here, change it to one to one. If you wanted to um, put this onto like Instagram or maybe Facebook, you can do nine by 16. If you're trying to uh, just go straight up and down, that'll be good for like a TikTok or Instagram reels. You can either fit or you can crop. So if you did fit, let me show you what fit will look like. Let me click apply. And here we go. So fit will change the size of the video and just put it in the middle and then you could put some text up top or down below um this is where you'd have to adjust the size of your transcript here for the subtitles but um you can then click here and see how it goes you know that was pretty painless you know that, that didn't take a lot of time to do uh, i can click on resize as well and maybe hit crop and crop will make it a little bigger now i can you see i'm kind of off center because when i shot this original video let me go back to the original just to show you you see when i shoot this original video i'm already kind of off center um, i'm not immediate i'm not dead center in this video so when i actually do try to do the 9 by 16 and i crop it here i'm i'm off center right here cool part of what chopcast can do you can pick up your image and just slide it over and now i'm in the middle of the screen and there you go. So that's pretty cool. I like the fact that I can do that to make it look really, really nice. And um, I can add the transcripts. Transcripts are here at the bottom. Over at the top left hand corner, I can change the font of the script as well. I can change also the size of how big it is. I can even tell how many words per line I would like um, it to show up as. So this makes it easier for people to read um, when they are looking at your content and maybe the audio is not loud or something or it's not up at all on their on their devices. Then this gives people an, an opportunity, you know, to to jump in and still see what you have to say. So as of right now, the way that they do the transcripts, I'm not a big fan of, to be honest. Um, but they have promised that it will be changing in the near future. Well, they'll be able to, you know, make this look as cool as you want, be able to add and subtract in like emojis and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people use CapCut, you know, in order to create content like this. Some people are using um, Captions, which is an, an iOS app that people are using to create content like this that really, uh, I guess that Alex Harmozy type where things pop up and the different words are colored and, you know, it's, it's more engaging than just looking at a person speak um, or just having the way that the subtitles look here. So those things are coming again. Um, th this is very early in Chopcast, but I really think it's a tool that's going to be awesome um, as time goes on and they continue to improve the product. Uh, so that's just like, for example, one of the ones that I was looking at is Roboto. I think it was medium maybe. So that changes that. And then I want to change the size of it. Let's just go with like a 36. That's a little, still a little small. Let's go with 48. That's not bad. Let's go 60, might be too big. No, that's not too bad. And I'm gonna keep it at 60 words and then let's just click play. Yeah, that's not, that's not too bad, right? And um, you can center it. You can, uh, if you wanted to move it up, move it down, put it in the middle. Um, that works out pretty well. And then once you've created it, you've got it in the spot that you want, um, make sure that you can, down here at the bottom, I'll zoom in just a tad so we can see what this looks like. So this is the section of the video up top, right? This is the section of the video. You can move three things here. Number one, you can move this to go from left to right where the video actually begins. You can move this to go from right to left where the video ends. And then you can move this little cursor to figure out where in the video you want it to be um, to make sure that it looks the way that you want. 
Let's see. So that's really helpful there is to make sure that you get exactly the point in the video that you're wanting to export. Um, what I would have liked is being able to put in subtitles um, in terms of uh, maybe having a pop up show up at one part of the video versus not another one um, just to kind of make it more engaging as the video goes on. So if I wanted to have like a picture pop up here or a picture pop up down there, but I don't want it for the entirety of the short video. I just wanted to pop up at 30 seconds. As of right now, I can't do that. But that is something that they will be adding again. You know, so that's, what, that's what they're telling us. So. Um, man, very, very good tool. I do definitely recommend at least picking it up. Um, one last thing, I'm sorry, I didn't, I forgot about this. When you click export, um, you see you have different options for export. You can export the MP4, which is the video. You can export the MP3, which would just be the audio, the SRT, which is the subtitles themselves, and then uh, .txt if you just wanted to grab the transcript. Um, if you notice that some of these are yellow and some are not, when they're not yellow, you're still waiting on them to be available to download. However, even if it is black, you can still click it and just it'll actually run it right then and there. You'll see here it says your job is being processed and it'll run through and hurry up and get it ready for you. Um, sometimes this might take a few minutes. So if it does, just you, you can close it and then go do something else while it runs. Um, it's not like insane because it's only a minute video so it's not too too bad but while that's going you know you can get you can have that taken care of let me go back to a clip so i can show you one that i worked on i think it was this one and no that was i started with that one but didn't finish it let's see what this one is there we go so this is one that i did so i just like hey are you tired of your nine to five or something like that and then subscribe below and as you play it you can see that the video is there and this is a pretty good you know reel that you can put out there um you know it's not super duper polished but it is something that, that you can use that will make it a lot easier for you to try to drive more traffic by taking advantage of this vertical short form content and uh it really makes it pretty pretty awesome to do so to give chopcast a try i definitely would recommend it there will be a link down in the description where you can go to app sumo and in the first pin comment to get that um, lifetime deal that they have again the pricing for that was sixty nine dollars one thirty nine and two thirty nine um, pick one that you think is best for you. Remember, you do have that 60 day money back guarantee that you can try with the service. So even if you don't like it, it can be two months later and you can still come back around and uh, not have to worry about uh, paying for it and either use it as a credit to get something else on AppSumo or um, just get your money back completely. So I will leave a link down in the description for that. And if you're looking for another video to watch, I definitely recommend that you go check out this video right here where I talk about this new alternative method to not have to use Loom anymore. Again, it's another lifetime deal. It's only going to be available for a little while. So go check out the video and I'll see you later. Bye.